Hello, Dean Schwimmer here. Welcome to today's vlog. Got to run today. Don't have much time, so I'm going to try to be brief. Maybe I won't succeed. Going to try. I just want to talk a little bit about the resistance. No, not that resistance, the bad resistance. This resistance, the good resistance. We're seeing more of this with each passing day with this coronavirus lockdown. The predicted number of deaths has been way above what the actual number of coronavirus deaths have been. And consider also that, well, it's the geezers like me who are the most susceptible. And I am not afraid to go out. I am just trying to find somewhere to go because everything is closed, though they are starting to open up. A restaurant or a deli in my area is allowing 50% capacity seating. The barber shops are not all open, but one is. And that's why I got to leave early today because I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm due for a haircut. The barber shops have been closed for over a month. Going to get me a haircut will be my old beautiful self once again. I know that's something that you want to look forward to. But the bigger point is that you're seeing in areas where barbershops are not allowed to open up and other businesses, businesses are opening anyways. And you're seeing protests from people who are really tired of this coronavirus lockdown. I read a story the other day that, well, it was just reported today in New York City, 66% of the coronavirus infections were to people who obeyed the rules, who stayed inside, and they still got it, number one. Number two, another article I read said, well, this came out in one of the coronavirus briefings that sunlight kills the coronavirus. It's not winter anymore, nice sunny day. If we go outside, spend time outside, we are helping ourselves. We are fighting the coronavirus, so go to the beach. But some beaches are still closed, but people are going to the beach anyways. You may have recently read about the woman in Texas who opened her hair salon against the rules. She was arrested, hauled in front of a judge. She told the judge, I have to feed my family if it's a choice between going to jail or disobeying the rules, breaking the law, or feeding my kids. I'm going to feed my kids, obviously. The judge said, okay, I'll let you off if you apologize for what you did, admit that you were wrong. She said, uh-uh-uh, no, no, I'm not apologizing for wanting to feed my kids, for trying to feed my kids. The judge sentenced her to a week in jail. But there's a good ending because the governor of Texas, Abbott, changed his executive order saying that nobody can be jailed for disobeying a coronavirus directive. So the Texas Supreme Court ordered the woman released. So that is a happy ending. Governors are starting, hopefully, to get the message. The worst case I can think of offhand, there could be even worse cases. But Governor Whitmer of Michigan, my home state, she is really being draconian and picayunish with these rules that she has made. She is getting a lot of resistance and demonstrations. The Michigan legislature changed the law to prevent her from doing what she's doing, but did not have enough to avoid a veto, and she vetoed the bill. All I want to do, as I said, I got to run, is praise these people. We are not slaves. Maybe we're taking a chance, but there is that uh, contention too, something called herd immunity that we have to get out, and some of us are perhaps more of us are going to die. But people, you remember 2008, the recession, that people were taking drugs, they were taking their lives, they were committing suicide. That costs lives too. You cannot live life being afraid of death. I mean, I could get hit by a car 
walking out of here. Uh, well, definitely in New York, I had lots of chances to get hit by a car or some idiot bicycle rider, but, uh, or just walking down the street. I lived in Harlem, guy was shot right across the street from me. Death is always in the background and we all die sooner or later, but we're a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, and the people want to get the heck out and get back to their lives. That's it for today. Thanks for stopping by, and as usual, thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with anybody you think might also like the video. If you got any comments, there's a comment section below the video, a good place for any questions you might have, suggestions for future topics. I love getting new subscribers, so subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And finally, most of all, come back and see me again. I look forward to seeing you all again. And until I do see you all again, bye.